What is going on everybody? This is Major League Hats. How are you guys all doing today? Now, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now. So, you know, it is always a good idea to take a moment out of your day and just think about everything that's going on. Think about all those minor league teams that are no longer with us. And, uh, yeah, it, it makes me sad. I do like some of the name changes that have come along with the uh, disbandment of uh, some minor league teams. But, you know, some of these teams that are gone away, they were associated with a lot of uh, tradition. So in this video, I just wanted to pay homage to 10 minor league teams that are no longer with us. And uh, the way we are going to do that is I have a couple beers. Got some uh, Dust Bowl Hops of Wrath IPA. I got my mug. And for each hat, we are going to pour a little bit in the mug for the cap. Now, what I did was uh, I gathered up 10 hats of teams that are no longer with us in the time frame that I've been kind of really consciously collecting hats. So you may not see some hats in here and you're going like, what the heck, you're missing a bunch of hats. Well, if you guys like this video so much and I can get 300 views on this video, I will make another No Longer With Us Minor League video. But we'll see how this goes. Now, don't forget guys, you guys, if you would like, you can always sponsor me on Patreon and become a Patreon member to the channel. And I'll provide the link down at the bottom. Also, come and enjoy the best hat podcast on YouTube every Thursday and Saturday nights. So, and if you have any questions or anything, feel free to follow me on Instagram. And of course, I have my new mlhats.com website up. So if you want to go check it out, feel free to go check it out. All the links going to be down in the bottom. And lastly, before we get on to this, because uh, I just I just want to take a moment to uh, say a couple words just for each of these teams that are no longer with us, because it's kind of a sad time. But um, I also I'm an affiliate member with Hat Club. So if you're ever going to buy any hats, please use my link down in the description so that I can get a small commission to help out my channel. You get your hats, I get a small commission so you help the channel grow. So without further ado guys, this video's idea, maybe not the video, but you knew I was going to do it, is dedicated to J38. Thank you so much J38 for the idea, for your Patreon, for your friendship, and everything else you do for the channel. I know sometimes you don't get to speak as much as I would like you to speak. Uh, because of certain situations, but man, you help out the channel a lot. You give me a lot of great ideas, and you are just one of the many people I have to thank for doing this video. So this video is dedicated to you because this was your idea. So without further ado, guys, let's pay homage to these minor league teams, and let's get drinking. Let's go! <laughs> The first team that we are going to take a look at is the BAM! I know I am kind of far away, but you guys see what it is. But if you guys go to MLHats.com, I will hopefully have the pictures up there. But this is the Gwinnett Braves. They changed their name a couple years ago to the Gwinnett Stripers. And just want to say a little salut, Gwinnett Braves. There we go. The next hat, and this is one of my favorite hats in all of minor league baseball. You guys know I love it so much. This is probably one of the uh, my toughest teams that uh, I'm, I miss a lot. So I had to uh, pay homage to it by getting a tattoo. But the Las Vegas 51s, man. One of the best logos out there. Miss you guys. If you guys are not aware, they became the Las Vegas Aviators when the A's took over. So Las Vegas Aviators. There we go, bro. Right there. The next team that we have, and uh, this team just did a whole rebrand. They changed affiliations, so they decided to change the name. But I've been to this stadium. It's another one of those stadiums that uh, that's still there. It's just with a different name. But we got, bam, the Syracuse Chiefs. They used to be the Washington Nationals AAA team. Now they are known as the Syracuse Mets. 
poor little pops there for the Syracuse Chiefs. Next hat. This is uh, kind of a special hat uh, because this is one team that actually changed twice uh, in my lifetime within a short time period. And uh, this was also another team that I paid homage to with a tattoo. But the real reason is because I needed a Z and there was no Zs in baseball. So we got, bam, the New Orleans Zephyrs. They used to be the AAA team for the Miami Marlins. And then they became the New Orleans Baby Cakes. Remember, guys, if I can get 300 views on this video and you guys like this, I will make a new video of teams that are no longer with us. So we got one beer in there. Next hat we got, and I've been to this stadium, and knowing that they are no longer there, technically the stadium's still there, but the team is no longer this name, and it's not even the level that it was classified at when I went, but we have the Colorado Springs Sky Sox, which used to be the AAA team for the Colorado Rockies. Salud. Next team that we have, and uh, I wish I would've got a better hat, but uh, this, Honestly, it was one hat I didn't really care for, so I just got a hat. I know they had probably had other alternate designs. I ended up settling with this one, but we have the Oklahoma City Red Hawks. They transitioned into becoming the Oklahoma City Dodgers when the Dodgers took over. They used to be the AAA team for your Houston Astros. So, Oklahoma City Red Hawks. And the funny part is, if you want to say it's funny, this was one of the first minor league teams I saw in person. They played the uh, Sacramento River Cats when they used to be the A's. And uh, Kobe Clemens, the son for Roger Clemens, was actually a player there. So that was really freaking cool. Oklahoma City Red Hawks. Now this next team I'm going to show you, it's in the high A ball section. But me and minor leagues went there the last year that it was open. It was really sad to go. But basically this team disbanded. Uh, they had a couple affiliation changes during the time. First it was the Reds, and then it became the Seattle Mariners. But we have the Bakerfields Blaze. They are no longer around. Bakersfield no longer has a team, so there you go. They moved to one of the Carolina teams. So I can't remember uh, which exactly one they were, but they're no longer there. The next team, uh, and this is another one of those special teams. I've been to that stadium, and it was just so happened to be the time that Bryce Harper was over there doing his rehab stint, and we went to one of the games that was a day earlier than the one we were scheduled to, and thank God that we did, because the game that we were supposed to go to, Bryce Harper wasn't there. The game got rained out. It was canceled after like three innings, but we got to see the Potomac Nationals. They are no longer known as the Potomac Nationals. They are called the Fredericksburg Nats. Yes, you know, they move stadiums. I never really cared too much for their logo or anything, but me and minor leagues went there. We saw the, them play against the Myrtle Beach Pelicans. A lot of fun. Saw Bryce Harper. So there we go. Pour a little bit. I only got a little bit more in this uh, second beer. So here we go. Here's a little bit. We got a couple more hats. Next hat I'm going to show you. I believe they are still affiliated with the Minnesota Twins, but they are no longer known as the BAM, the Fort Meyer Miracles. They are known as the Fort Meyer Mighty Muscles, I believe. So there you go. They just changed up their logo to have a little fun. So no longer with us, but cheers. Pour a little bit for them. There we go. And this is a two-hatter right here. These are my newest hats. This is the hats that uh, me and J38 were talking about. I mentioned these teams, and he's like, "What do you, wh who, who are they? I don't, I don't even know what they are. So he kind of forgot because, you know, if you think about it, they weren't really around that long. And, and the fact that they weren't really around that long, uh, I never saw their hats pop up on lids. I never really rushed to get their hats because I wasn't aware that they weren't going to really stick around. Uh, so it's like I never really had the chance. By the time I started looking for the hat to get, since they were no longer there, I couldn't get it. So I bought my first couple hats off of eBay because I had to get these guys for my high A set. And since they were playing, when I started collecting hats, I really tried to get them. You guys know I'm trying to get one hat of all the teams that uh, were playing as I've been collecting. So one of the hats I'm going to have trouble getting is the High Desert Mavericks. And uh, it's just another one of those teams that are no longer with us. But uh, so there you go. Silent shout out to the Mavericks there. But we got the BAM! The Boise 
Creek Astros. If you guys don't know the backstory, the Astros used to play in Lancaster. That was their high A team. And then they moved to the Carolinas. Well, I guess they were waiting a couple years for their new stadium to be built. So they moved to Boise Creek. And then after that, which is in, if you guys don't know, I believe it's in North Carolina. Of course, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but after only like two years, their new ballpark got made. And they became known as the Fateville Woodpeckers. So there we go. So they were only in Boise Creek for like two years. And then the uh, Colorado Rockies took over Lancaster. And so you, there you go. And this team wasn't around that long. And here is the second one. Had to get the orange one as well. There was one more, but they didn't have my size or anything. So I just got the, these two. There was a total of three. Uh, I don't remember there being any promotion nights or anything for this team or anything. Like I said, this, this hat, basically, if you slept on it, you're probably going to have a hard time trying to get it. So I was kind of happy that I found it on eBay uh, for a really good price. So there you guys go. Boise Creek Astros poured the last beer for them. <sighs> All right, guys, we are going to go out in style. I want to thank everybody that has watched this video. If you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, feel free to share it. I'm trying to get 300 views on this video, of course. And as always, guys, please join me for my podcast. Hit up my Patreon. Hit up my Hat Club link so you guys can help out the channel. So, moment of silence for the 10 teams that are no longer with us because they've either disbanded, changed affiliations, or changed names completely. <laughs> Cheers to the minor league teams. Salud. Let's see if I can do this. Cheers, boys! <coughs> Sorry, guys. A little bit more. Major League hats out. See you in the next video.